Can we set a like target of 500 likes? Smash that like button. 500 likes. Do the thing. Well, hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Wherever you are. It's Carl. We're back with another video. It's Newcastle United vs Crystal Palace over at Selhurst Park. This light's probably going to switch off now. And this is the predicted 11. As you can see, we're in a little bit of a different setup here. This is the garage. Patrick's has gone on that one. This is the garage. And we are, uh, we are slowly turning this into a studio. Hence the poor audio in comparison to the, the usual mic'd audio that I have. So I do apologise. Um, but yeah. We're uh, we're we're making moves. We're making moves, just like Newcastle United are. New owners, new management, almost looks like it could be Paulo Fonseca. Uh, with a video coming out from myself on Sunday, with a bit of background information as to who he is, what we could potentially expect. I don't want to go get into too much surrounding what the media have said about Newcastle United fans and how they're portraying them since Steve Bruce has been given the chop. Because it's bollocks at the end of the day. There's been a minority that have given him um, personal abuse. And, you know, there's times where I've said things I probably, sh probably shouldn't have. And I accept that. But, you know, let's not act like we, we, were, uh, we were berating this man. And berating this man's character on a daily basis. Because that simply isn't the case. And uh, it's, it's a bit of pill to swallow. But it is what it is. We move on. He's gone. We move on to a new chapter. And that brings us to tomorrow. Um... Nearly said it again, he's mate. <laughs> Graham Jones takes the helm. Graham Jones, the attacking coach, the man that we all seem to think was behind the the kind of goal scoring and winning streak that we on, went on last, at the back end of last season to keep us in the Premier League. Was I one of those people? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm personally not a huge fan of Graham Jones. I do believe that he's uh, he's been protected a little bit. But we'll see. This is a chance for him to prove people wrong or prove people right. Um, and I, I I, back him more to get attacking football out of this side. I do. I will say that. Um, and you can't do any worse than what we had previously. Um, but we still need to get three points. This is a game that isn't going to be an easy game against a, a, a difficult to beat Crystal Palace side under Patrick Vieira. Uh, they did just have just come off a, a two-two draw. Um, are they going to concede goals? Yes. Um, it really does depend on on what kind of setup we go with. Personally, I think um, that they're, they're there for the taking. It, it's them. I think Norwich. Um, you know, even Arsenal. We've got to look to try and take points from those games because we've got a relatively difficult run coming up. Obviously, we've got Brighton as well, but Brighton looking pretty strong under Graham Potter. So tomorrow is a big game for us. Um, unfortunately, I cannot make the game. Um, anyone that doesn't know, I have a charity event on the 27th of November for, um, can for cancer research doing MMA. I'll have the link in the description if you want to help me raise some funds. Thank you to everyone who's already donated and shared. Uh, I've had to set myself a target of £500. We've already smashed 220 in less than a week, which is fantastic. So thank you to everyone. Um, but yeah, training in the morning, then coming back and getting on the train to, to go to London um, was the plan, but it's just not feasible, unfortunately. So I will not be at the game. Um, someone has my ticket, so enjoy. Enjoy the day. Um, I'll be doing the watch along. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that we'll get a result. But this is the lineup that I think that we're going to go with, not what I think we should go with. And in goal, it will be none other than... Um, is Martin Dubravka back? He is, isn't he? Martin Dubravka. If not, obviously, Carl Darlow. Um, Carl Darlow. Ooh. Always believe in your soul. You got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe in Carl Darlow. <laughs> and so that's enough for that. Yeah. I'd like to see a four at the back. I think we will go four at the back. I think he's going to go Jamal Lascelles. 
Sorry, I just had a message off the missus saying ham sandwich, please. <laughs> We're going to go Jamal LaSalle's at centre-half with Federico Fernandez out on the right. Mm. Javier Manquillo out on the left. Do I think he's going to start Jamal Lewis? No. Matt Ritchie out on the left, I think it will be. And then we move on to the middle. I think we're going to go a flock of four with a two, two holding midfielders, um, at like a bank of two and then a bank of three and a one, so a four, two, three, one. And I'm going to go with Isaac Hayden. And... Uh, yeah, Sean Longstaff. Isaac Hayden and Sean Longstaff sitting just in front of the back four. Although I'd like to see Sean in the 10 roll. I would like to see Sean in the 10 roll. But we've got Isaac Hayden and Sean Longstaff in the, uh, just in front of the bank, bank back four. Moving on from there, out on the right of the three, it has to be that man, St. Maxi man. And moving on through the middle, I think we'll be looking at Miggy Almiron. Miggy Almiron in the 10 roll, I do. Miggy Almiron in the 10. And on, out on the left of him, Joe Linton. I don't think Ryan Fraser's going to start. I think Joe Linton's going to start. I think Joe Linton should start. I know people will disagree with that, but I think out on that left flank position, he's been very strong as of late. He's cut inside very well. He's brought the attackers into play where possible, and he's created chances, and he loves a Cruyff turn on the edge of the box. To throw off the defender, create a little bit of space, get a decent pass into the six-yard box, because we know he ain't scoring. So... Up top, then it has to be the man, Callum Wilson, who is in form. Um, you know, obviously he's only played one game this season, pretty much. But, um, I said one game this season, minimal games this season. But, Scott, I think he scored five in his last five games. Something crazy like that. Uh, he's a goal-scoring machine. We're fucked without him. Get him up top. Four, two, three, one, bish, bash, bosh. Three, one win, Newcastle United. That's my line of prediction. If you like what you see, please like, share and subscribe to the video. For you new subscribers, we've got plenty of crazy content. As you can see, I can be an absolute tool at times. Um, I can be very reserved, but today I feel like being a tool, so yeah. Um, lots of content over on NFTV Extra. If you haven't already, check Lee's preview, which was out prior to this video. Uh, we will have Lee driving down to London, I imagine, tomorrow. We'll have a vlog from Lee and Johnny. Um, we've got the watch along. We've got uh, scoring the players. We'll have the last word, instant match reaction. There'll be like five to ten videos tomorrow as well. So please stay tuned for the content. Newcastle Fans TV is skyrocketing at the moment. We're so close to 30,000 subscribers. Like Johnny said, it wasn't that long ago that we were on 25,000 subscribers looking for another 100 subs. 30k. We're nearly there. So if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Smash it. Smash it at the park. Fuck me, I need a drink. But yeah, there we are. Newcastle United. Crystal Palace, Selhurst Park, 3 o'clock kickoff tomorrow. 3 1 win for the Toon. Graham Jones in charge with hopefully an announcement of Paolo Fonseca on Sunday. Oh, Mandy, you came and you saved me from relegation. Yeah, like, share, subscribe. Bosh! I'm going to see a doctor. Lost it.